We're finally gonna do it, boys. It's been it's been a long it's been a good run. It's been a good run. Completely forgot that my car is like difficult to drive. Oh no. This is not a good thing, boys. Yep, there it is. Sorry to steer. By the way, good morning everyone. Currently heading to work now. Just a quick three to six shift few hours and then after that we're gonna be heading to the gym yeah i completely forgot to update you guys about the tablet stuff yesterday i actually got my case for it and i also got a keyboard for it so i don't know what i'm gonna use it for but for now i got all the gear needed if i if i need it for something and also i briefly mentioned yesterday how i want to start doing like fair video like whenever i go to the fair i want to do like those like you know mic'd up videos i ordered the, the the gear for it i ordered a voice recorder and also a lapel mic yeah it's coming tomorrow so we'll test it out we'll kind of play with it and see how i like the editing stuff not only am i going to be able to use it for the fair but i'm also going to be able to use it for wednesday and thursday when i hang out with charlie most importantly i hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video some something very different and hope you guys found some you know entertainment out of it and keep in mind my videos are not gonna evolve to that style of videos it's just it's just like a like a one-off thing almost kind of like a summer thing the vlogs are still gonna continue the same way that it is like this and for days that i'm gonna be you know going to like the fair the street fair whatever it may be then i'll whip out the the mic'd up type of style a little bit like yesterday's video like a lot of it was like the mic'd up style with like the cameraman and everything i still had like you know solo moments so it's not like it's gonna disappear completely don't don't worry about it if you guys like this style right here that i'm doing right now you got nothing to worry about and i promise you i'm not gonna be using 30 pictures per second every time i get the chance to it's that's i'm trying to move away from that because that, that's loaf properties right there done with work now so uh yeah it was a little bit busy we're a little understaffed but it's all good i'm i'm the little i'm the michael jordan of the of the workplace you know what i'm saying i'm just kidding they, they work hard too so I, I can't i can't take all the credit but what i can take the credit for i this is a horrible <laughs> it's a bad segue but apparently one of the people that like drop off their dog like pretty regularly for boarding over there this is how the situation came about so i got I, he walks in I go, hey, you here for this dog? He goes, yeah. And then he also goes, oh, by the way, do you also double as a Shields model? <laughs> I'm like, uh, how how do you know? He's like, oh, he's one of the corporates over there. I thought that was cool, but yeah, he was telling me all about it, and uh, I asked him the most important question that is pretty valuable to me and to you guys probably. When is the final product coming out? And according to him, it's next Tuesday. So the prints are gonna come out soon. I don't know if the commercial's gonna come out soon too, but who knows either way. Make sure to stay tuned on the big Aldwin channel, yeah? All right, let's sing that part. Um. If you want it, girl, come and get it. All this is here for you. Now I can't keep you from loving him. You made up your mind. I saw you dancing in a crowded room. A single teardrop falling from your eye I don't know why I run away But you walk past me like I wasn't there And just pretended like you didn't care Alright, so actually I have a topic that I wanted to talk about I want to get the gym done first And then after we'll meet at the we'll meet at the parking garage And for those of you that have been here for a little bit uh, You guys would understand what I'm going to be doing And uh, well, you guys can see on the title anyway So it's not what it matters Alright, it's time to do uh, my favorite part of the day Segre- not- what? Segregation Laundry time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So we just got done with training and now we're going to be talking about the most important well, we're going to be talking about the title of today's video Jesus this car man <laughs> it's a little bit clickbait but uh you guys will see as soon as I talk about it but before that I wanted to quickly get sentimental with you guys out of how of how nice you guys have been recently well you guys have always been great but like <laughs> you guys have been extra nice to the channel recently and like it really helps out a lot and it's it's Cool. You guys should already know, like, I'm not gonna stop. I don't want to make any call-outs yet because I don't know how I'm gonna feel, like, after this whole vlog series is over. But at the moment, 
Like I do want to keep continuing this as much as I like as much as I can, you know. This has been like something that I really love to do. There's been moments where, you know, I I kind of like doubt myself. There's been moments where I just doubt am I actually going to get the job done, meaning that's kind of my like ultimate goal. I want to retire my parents so bad. I just want to live comfortably, you know what I'm saying? Like I want to have enough money to be able to support them and support myself like comfortably and going back to your guys' support like the support that you guys are showing me is really helping me like push myself even further push my content even further to new height keep elevating you know you guys are a huge backbone when it comes to uh producing these videos because without you guys i wouldn't be as motivated to do these thank you guys so much for that and also going back to the vlogs thing like i want to potentially continue these vlogs even past the year thing i was thinking about this like the other night even if i don't do like, like the daily vlogs after a year of doing it maybe i could do like a weekly series upload once a week maybe that that would be cool that, that, that would be a cool idea too that's been on my mind recently all right let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and head to the parking lot really quickly here Alright, so it turns out we got an audience over here. So there's like an apartment complex back there and like kind of they were looking at me weird. Can a man just take 4,000 pixels? I start off this video really quickly with a with a hook. We're finally gonna do it, boys. It's been it's been a law it's been a good run. It's been a good run. And bang. Done. Alright. Yeah, so I deleted Snapchat. Uh, don't get fooled by the title. This is pretty much kind of like an update on the whole uh, no social media thing. And um, we're closing in on six months here really soon, in about like a couple of weeks. Dude, there's literally people pulling up. <laughs> Bro, we're gonna have a big audience. This would have been a perfect video to feature like the, the mic'd up setup for the first time, just so you guys can hear me even better. But you know what? It is what it is. Five months into no social media. This is, There's a lot of prefaces to this, but another preface is that I did relapse a little bit for like a week. I was watching some Instagram reels for, you know, for about a week or so. And it's been two weeks since I've been off of that. We're back to basics, baby. But we're still gonna count the five months thing because it's, I realized after a little bit with that week of watching reels, I was like, what am I doing, man? What am I doing? Like I was on, I was on such a good path of like not being on social media, and then it just happened to come back to it. It's like oh. from what I remember, what I talked about for the one month thing. I remember I talked about how I had a lot more time to do stuff that I actually wanted to do, like the YouTube stuff. It gave me more time to just focus on everything that I actually wanted to do. And now it's even more prominent because you know just scrolling endlessly, it's like a bottomless pit. You know what I'm saying? Without doing that, I've done a lot of stuff that I've been so proud of. I've done a lot of things that I'm like, whoa, I didn't think I could do it. One of them being the modeling. That's obviously, you know, that's obviously the big thing that I've been doing recently. And it's like, whoa, me? I can actually do that? It's not like social media is like the, the main reason why I was able to do the modeling thing. But I feel like if I didn't have the time, if I directed all my time to rotting in social media, like I probably wouldn't be able to do all the stuff that I'm doing now. I've been getting better at boxing, been getting better at organizing my time. I've been getting better at like going to the gym even more, going to like actually focusing on like the grind compared to now from five months ago it's like it's night and day another part of the reason i guess it's like there's more daylight but you know that's a that's a topic for another video one big thing is also mental health mental health has gotten a lot better for those of you that don't know uh should i talk about this i think i, I think it's important to talk about it now for those of you that don't know i went through a breakup like five months ago to those of you that don't know me like that i guess i don't take that stuff really well. I feel like I've taken it well this time. Like I've done, I've done a lot better, I'll say. Like not well, but a lot better. I feel like a mixture of that and like rotting on social media, like doesn't help at all. Cause for some reason, like short form content, just like the algorithm just knows everything. Not for some reason, obviously they record, they have everything on your phone, you know? They have the algorithm to like, you know, to direct you to that kind of stuff. And it's like, uh, oh bro, it doesn't help the mental health. Now that it's been like five months and now that it's been, you know, five months without social media, it's helped out the little jiggly thing up here. I can't be thankful enough for that. All prices are for the most high, of course. I will continue to get better and better and better every single day. By the way, the Snapchat thing kind of ties into the, the breakup and stuff. The person that I used to date, I kept Snapchat for them and um, it's 
kind of a stupid idea anyway in the first place. I'd say about like two months after posting that uh, one month video, I realized it's like, what's the point, bro? If they really wanted to get in contact with me, they could just use they could just use text. And it caused me anxiety for, you know, reasons that I don't really want to get into at the moment because I, I don't feel comfortable right now. Letting go of Snapchat Loki is kind of like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a blessing honestly going off on a lighter note here i've complained about this on the videos for the past like like two months now or something like that where snapchat would send me notifications being like paulo remember four years ago when you did this this and that like and then they would show me a photo that i did back then it's like bro who cares i don't care and i guess snapchat will always be there if i really want to re-download it and look at all the photos but I don't know, at the moment I don't really care enough to. That's another benefit of it, I guess. I remember I talked about social media in general has like ruined my perspective on life and stuff. I wanted to elaborate on that a little bit. I'm specifically talking about relationships. Not everyone's like the same way that social media portrays people to be. With being constantly on social media, it's like it changed my perspective in a bad direction, to be honest with you. Have you guys ever seen those like videos of public interviewers and stuff? It'd be a guy going up to like a random couple, like a phone swap thing. And then they find out that like, like both of them are like cheating on each other or something or one of them's cheating on the other and with my anxiety it's like oh man like am i gonna be a part am i gonna be a victim of that am i gonna be cheated on all that kind of stuff and it's obviously not like the video creator's fault that uh, it changed my perspective but they're gonna keep uploading that kind of stuff and i'm not gonna stop them so what i should do to kind of alleviate the anxiety from that is that I should stop watching it. It's kind of it's kind of one plus one equals two, you know? And I used to watch those kinds of videos, like it wouldn't happen to like pop up on my For You during my relationship. So like it caused anxiety, it caused damage, it caused, you know, all that kind of stuff in the relationship. And it's like, bro, done, your boy's done with that. I want to live my life without getting influenced by those videos, thinking that every single person is the same. Oh yeah, by the way, you guys saw like the stuff that I still have like right here. Instagram is for like my YouTube promotion stuff and that's where like the modeling stuff goes to. So that's why I, that's why I still have it. Facebook is for the business. If I want to upload dog photos to the Facebook Messenger, that's for my family uh, back home because they don't have any other means of like you know Discord. I don't go on that. That's why I literally have a thousand <laughs> a thousand Discord notifications. I don't use X really. Reddit, I don't use Reddit. I don't know why I still have it. I'll be honest. One of the things that I talked about in the in the one month video is me not having enough time to like work on my body and stuff. And I know I've already talked about it in this video, but I wanted to. Um, clear up that hey the physique is doing a lot better boys that's a that's a that's a big achievement all right so yeah i guess overall the only thing that's happened like getting rid of social media is all like positive and stuff oh and also i wanted to mention like just because this is like me telling you guys why i'm not on social media anymore it doesn't mean that i'm better than you or anything this isn't like any boasting being like oh you know, I'm off of social media, so I have a higher ground above you. No, not really. This is just a personal decision. This is like definitely out of my comfort zone because back then I used to be such a couch potato. I used to just lay down and just be on social media the whole time. When is enough enough? And of course with YouTube, if I didn't have YouTube, I wouldn't be uploading this. So let's, let's get that settled. Sometimes I still watch some videos, but that's literally about it. Yeah, man, it's been all positive. It's been better. Like I'm working on just clearing my mind even more. And this is just the, this is like my development year and so far you know for a development year i don't know it's been doing pretty well what do you guys think i'm sure i could think of more things to uh, talk about when it comes to the positiveness of it but i don't know i don't i can't really think of anything right now i think i mentioned last time for cons i said like i don't really have a way to keep up with uh, people anymore. I guess that's the only con I guess. In the beginning of this it was a bit of a hard decision but as they say some things require a sacrifice and you know if it's worth it you might have to sacrifice for it. I think it's worth it that I'm that I'm doing this. 943. Shoot man I gotta go to Walmart. If I do have stuff that I want to record I'll just record it for tomorrow's vlog but if not then I'll see you guys tomorrow alright? Yeah peace.